Hello, baseball fans and fans of the 94 Marlins, or the Marlins, if there are any out there watching. It is me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back again with the 1994 replay that I've been working on. Now, if you will recall, the last game that I televised was our 12th game of the season, and we won our first game of the season in that game over the San Francisco Giants to go to 1-11. So I have quick played a few games since then, and um, the lesson here is that I really should have the computer managing this team, because since the last time I put a video up, the computer has managed to go 4-4 four and four with these Marlins. So they are now 5-12. and 12. So we're 5-12, and 12 and we're playing Colorado, and as you can see down here, Colorado is nearly equally as bad as we are at 8-12. and 12. So with that having been said, let's get on with the game. And you can see it is going to be Marvin Freeman of Colorado going up against our Dave Weathers. And let's see here. Yep, computer human. You can see that the lineup for Colorado is Walt Weiss at short, Howard Johnson in left, Andres Galarraga at first, Dante Bichette will be the right fielder, Mike Kingery is in center, Charlie Hayes at third, Nelson Liriano at second, Joe Girardi, the former Phillies and Yankees, and maybe even Cubs manager. I'm not even sure. And uh, Marvin Freeman, the pitcher. For us, we're going to have Chucky Carr in center, uh, the Governor Brown at third base, Gary Sheffield in right, Conine in left, Magadan at first, uh, Santiago at catcher, uh, Abbott at short, Barbary at second, and Weathers, the pitcher in batting ninth. And that's no different, really, than my lineups most of the time. So... We will get on with the game, the gamesmanship of it all. And there's Weathers out there. We are home again. We're pitching Walt Weiss. So, um, yeah, let me move myself over here. Actually, let me move myself down here. No, no, I don't want to do that because then you can't see the roll. Well, you can't see the cards. All right, so Weiss is aboard, and that brings up Howard Johnson. And Howard Johnson lifts the ball up and to left field, but Conine is there, and he makes the play. There's one down with Andres Galarraga. A little gray in this pitcher and on the San Francisco Giants, but just the same. It is him, and he's out, and Dante, Uncle Dante Bichette, who is the father of Bo Bichette, who plays for the Toronto Blue Jays currently. And it looks like he is going to fly out to Conine, and Weathers gets them with only one guy, allowing only one guy on base, and that'll be Marvin Freeman dealing to Chucky Carr to lead it off. Chuck Carr hitting a disappointing 228 on the year. But did he get a hold of that one? Nope. And Jerry Brown comes up, batting 235 on the season. Most of these uh, Marlins, you got to believe, are not going to be hitting very well. Gary Sheffield, however, is not one of those. He is hitting 354 on the season with eight home runs in 82 at bats. He's having a great year for these Marlins. And, uh, oh, Brown got aboard. I didn't even know that, but. That was a double play that eliminated everybody anyway. And so Mike Kingery is leading off for Colorado against Weathers. Weathers comes in with a, an 0 and 3 record and a 430 earned run average. The 430 earned run average, not so bad, but the 0 and 3 record is, although that's really more a direct result of the team he's on. And uh, Hayes, there was a, a pass ball on that, or a wild pitch, or whatever you want to call it. And Hayes is going to move the, uh, no, he didn't move the runner over. Hmm. All right, so now you got Nelson Liriano up with one down and Kingery at second. And does that move the runner over? 
No, I guess the pitcher got both of those, possibly. And Joe Girardi, here pictured as a St. Louis Cardinal. And that is going to be an out. And Weathers gets us out of the second. We go to the bottom of the second with Conine. Jeff Conine up against Marvin Freeman. And he's going to hit it in the hole and get a single. Dave Magadan, come on, man. Lefty on righty, come on. You got to get a hit here. And that's going to be in the hole between second and first. And it is a double play. So, um... Benito, Uncle Benito Santiago is up, and he strikes out. So, you have Weathers going back out to the mound, and he's going to be facing Marvin Freeman. Let's hope that this is a leadoff out for the inning. And it is, and Walt Weiss is up with one down, nobody on. Weiss, um, uh, you, as you may know, went went on to manage the Colorado Rockies. But he is out, and that brings up Howard Johnson, the hotel magnet. All right, I'm just kidding. It's not really. But he hits it in the hole between second and first, and he has he, there's a base runner, and Andres Galarraga is up with two out and a man on first. Weathers, though, is dealing, but no, that's going to be either a home run or a double in the um, down the line. Oh, no, it's a foul. It's a foul ball, thankfully. And it ends up being just a uh, ground out to Abbott at short. And speaking of Abbott, he is up at the plate right now against Freeman. And, uh-oh. He's all right. He got hit by the pitch there, but he's fine. And Barbary, Brett put another shrimp on the Barbary, is up. And he's going to strike out. So there's one down with Abbott aboard and Dave Weathers up. And I'm letting him hit because I don't generally like sacrificing. And that's what can happen when you don't like sacrifice. You get a twin killing. And we go to the top of the fourth in a zero game. Zero all. Zero zero. Bichette. Hits the ball, and he is safe. He gets an infield hit, and Mike Kingery comes up behind him. And Mike Kingery looks like he's going to fly out to Chucky Carr for the first out of the fourth inning. And he does, and Charlie Hayes is up. Charlie Hayes, you might remember, played on the Yankees, and I believe on one of their world champion teams. And that was a double play, got us out of the, that inning, and we're going to the bottom of the fourth with Chuck Carr, the top of the order, for the Marlins, up at the plate. And he looks like he's going to ground out to second for the first out. Jerry, the Governor Brown, who got aboard last time with a walk, and I thought he was out. And this time he looks like he is out. And he is, and Chef, the Chef, hitting 349 now after going 0 for 1 in his first uh, at bat, and he walked, it looks like. Yep. And Conine, who is one for one and hitting 358. Those two guys have been carrying this team, and he hits it in the hole. I'm going to send the lead runner. He's a 16 runner. And it turns out to be a good decision. Runners are now at the corners with only one out and Magadan up. We've got Freeman on the ropes, it would appear. And, uh, yeah, he walks to load the bases for Benito Santiago. And is he going to hit it down the line for a double? I need a double right here. Um, I'm going to hold the runners. So we do get two. We get a two-run double by Santiago. I was going to pinch hit for Abbott if um, Santiago had gotten out, but he did hit a double, and so now we're playing with house money, and maybe that's another run. No, it is not. But we did get two runs that inning. Nelson Liriano will come up in the fifth with Colorado down 2 nothing, And uh, our Marlins are on a streak of some kind now. I mean, we're 5-11 and 11 after starting the, or 5-14, and 14, I think, or 5-15, and 15, something like that after having started the season 0-11. And if we can win this game, if we can bring this home, that's going to be a ground out for Freeman to second. And uh, 
that puts the Rockies back in the field with Brett Barbary batting against Freeman in the bottom of the fifth, and he's going to line out, it looks like, or, or ground out. Weathers is up. And Weathers, Weathers is going shopping at the Gap. How did that happen? All right, that's a triple. That is a triple for Weathers. And that, my friends, is why you let the pitcher bat. Chuck Carr is going to hit it in the hole and get a third run across for us. It's 3 nothing, And Jerry, the governor, Brown steps up. 0 for 1 today with a walk. And he is going to, looks like he's going to ground. No, no, they couldn't make the play. So it's runners at first and second. And, of course, the guy we want to see up, Gary Sheffield. And we could really put the game away right here. And it looks like Sheffield might hit this over Kingery's head for a double, at least a double. And uh, you know what? I'm going to send the lead runner because we're playing with house money. And I'm going to send the trailing runner because we're playing with house money. And that is good house money right there. Three three runs have come in this inning so far. And now Sheffield's at third with Conine, who's two for two and hitting 366 on the season up at the plate. And he is going to wa not get, he's going to get nothing. He's going to go come back to the uh, dugout. And Magadan is now up. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. And he looks like he might have hit it for a double or a home run. No, it's foul. It's coming back. Don't get excited. And now that's going to be a... It gets away. That's an error. Marvin Freeman is tired. Yeah, he's tired of watching this defense behind him. So they're going to bring in Bruce two minutes for roughing. And that will... He'll pitch to Santiago. That that uh, doesn't close the book on Freeman just yet because the man at second is his responsibility. But Abbott is up with two down. And what's going to happen there? It's going to be a fly out to the Howard Johnson hotel chain magnet. And now we've got Walt Weiss up and we have a six nothing lead. You got to believe that uh, Weathers can hold this one down. I'm, I mean, I'm believing it. And that's going to be a walk, though. And now Howard Johnson is up. Howard Johnson hitting 162, but he walks. And so that brings up Andres Galarraga hitting 316 on the year with four home runs. And he is going to ground it to Abbott. Do we have the double play? Yes. But it does move Weiss to third. He's 90 feet away with Bichette up. And that looks like that could be handed a bull for Brown, and it is at third base for the third out, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. Brett Barbary up against Bruce, two minutes for Ruffin. And that is going to be a single. Is that going to be a single? Yes, that's going to be a single. And Barbary is aboard with Weathers up, and of course he tripled last time, so I'm just going to let this man hit. He's hot. He's hot, but he struck out. And that brings up Carr. And Carr is going to ground it to first base, but that does move Barbary to second. We got a man at second, two down, and Brown up. And that is a wild throw or a wild pitch or a pass ball or something. And Brown is still up, and can he get it over? E6! Colorado making a ton of errors and killing themselves here. It is seven to nothing. And Sheffield is aboard. No, he's up at the plate. And uh, but he's out. Looks like no, no, not yet. Although he did ground it to Weiss right there, and he beat it out. What was it? Rolls up his arm. The, Colorado is ridiculous with the errors here. It's three errors for Colorado already. And Conine at the plate. And he is going to fly out to Bichette, it looks like. Although with all the airs, you don't want to say that for sure. And it is, we go to the top of the seventh, Colorado batting, but down 7 nothing. And Kingery hits it between the hole, between second and first, and he is aboard with Charlie Hayes up. Charlie Hayes 0 for 2 on the day, two home runs on the year, 278 batting average, and... 
Well, he walks him, but I'm going to let him stay out there because even with no outs, I'm, I want to see him get through the seven. And we're playing with house money. But really we're not because now the bases are loaded for Girardi. Now the bottom of the lineup is coming up, but you got to believe they're going to pinch hit for Ruffin at least. And Girardi gets a hold of one, and that's going to be hit into the gap. And it's a triple for Girardi. Get out of here. Seven to three, and yes, they are going to pinch hit Eric Young. Let me just, this is an experiment. I want to see if he can get out of this inning. Probably not. Young might have just jacked a two-run homer. And he did. And so now it is seven to four. Oh, wait, no, no, that was a fly out. That was a sacrifice fly. So it's seven to four. And Johnson is at the plate now with two outs. We got a tired on gas, low on the gas tank, weather's out there, but he gets a fly ball to Carr, and he will get out of the inning. Now it is seven to four, and now they're bringing in Darren Holmes to face Magadan. Magadan is up, bottom of the seventh, leadoff hitter for us. We still have a seven to four lead, and I have a bullpen that I can bring in. That's going to be a walk for Magadan, and Santiago's up. He's one for two. And he hits a single. I am not going to um, do anything with the runners, except right here I am going to do a sacrifice bunt with Abbott. I don't like doing it a lot, but... And it's going to be an error. Is that really, really what happened? So it's 8-4, yeah. I'm just going to let Barbary hit because um, you don't want to do a squeeze play. And he's going to hit it up the middle, and it is a base hit. And Holmes is already tired. And we are going to pinch hit for Weathers. So let's go to the home bench. What's going on? I am doing a Marlins 94 game. You called in during a Marlins 94 game, and you are on the video. So, and and David Weathers. David Weathers is up for us with Abbott at third base, and I am just about to pinch hit Orestes Destrada for Weathers. I love that guy. Don't you, though? <laughs> And so he is going to hit, and let's see what happens. They've got a tired. No, they bring in, who is that? Steve Reed. Colorado has just brought in Steve oh, Reed. Nice counter, Steve. Yeah. Reed versus Reed. It's a big moment. It is a big moment with runners at the corners, and Arrestus Destrada hits what could be a home run. Is that a home run? She's gone. Arrestus Destrada. Pinch hit home run off Steve Reed. I mean, Steve Reed, come on, he can't be an He's no match for the rest of this <laughs> And so, crazy. yes, Chucky Carr is up at the plate right now. Chuck Carr, no way. Yes, and he struck out. So now so that they, brings... They, that, 93 Marlins, the original Marlins? 94 Marlins. 94, 94 Marlins, yes. So, so that brings... the White Sox? Is that what, or no, you're playing Rockies. Colorado. Rockies. Co yes. And Jerry, the Governor Brown, is up with Jerry one out Brown. in the seventh. And he is going to ground out to Galarraga, it looks like. Yes, he does. And Sheffield is now up. Sheffield, one for three on the day with a double. And he is hitting 353 on the season. And it looks like he might have a home run. This could be gone for Sheffield. And it is. And we are just laying it on Colorado. <laughs> Bad choice. Steve, bad choice. Bad choice for Don Baylor there, and so, <laughs> and so now Jeff Conine is up, and he is two for four on the day. Jeff, what's the score with all these runs? It is thirteen to four, Marlins, and that's going to. Okay, so we're, yeah, we're returning to the lineup. I did pinch hit, so I do have to bring in another pitcher, and we are going to bring in 
Um, I am going to go with Terry Matthews. Terry uh, Matthews, is he a little lefty? Uh, he is a righty, actually. Oh, and okay. he has a 327, 327 earned run average on the year, top of the eighth inning, pitching to Galarraga. And Galarraga yeah. just either went deeper, it's a foul ball. And no, it's gone. So it is a home run. Terry Matthews comes in. Of course, he's got a lot of real estate to play with, though. Dante Bichette is up. I mean, he's not the only one to go home run to Galarraga. And there is one down with Mike Kingery up. Mike Kingery. You know you loved Mike Kingery. Oh, I did like Mike Didn't we all? Mariner, I believe. <laughs> and loved he Kingery. is he gets aboard. And that is a walk, and now Charlie Hayes is up. He is 0 for 2 on the day, though. Charlie Hayes not having a good day. He's going to ground to Abbott, and they only get one. So Hayes is safe at first, and there is two outs, though, in the bottom of the eighth. Or no, in the uh, in the top of the yeah, in the top of the eighth. And Nelson Liriano just hit it over Carr's head, it looks like. He did for a double. And that brings Joe Girardi up. It's 13-5 Florida with two runners on for Colorado. Terry Matthews not pitching very well at all. And he gives up another base hit that scores two runs. Steve Reed is up, but they'll probably pinch hit for him. And they do with John Vanderwall. John Vanderwall. Yes, he, is, he was a pinch hitter deluxe. And the pinch hitter deluxe hits the ball over Carr's head. And that is going to be runners at second and third on that double. It's thir job. it's thirteen to seven with Walt Weiss at the plate. And that is another base. Terry Matthews has nothing today. It you is know, there many days he did. it's thirteen to eight, and uh, the hotel man Howard Johnson is going to head it down the line. This is unreal. All right, um, I'm going to throw for the base runner at the plate. Sixty five percent. And we did not get him, and it is thirteen to ten now. Thirteen to ten. Thirteen to ten with Galarraga up. And they didn't tell me that Matthews is tired, but he's doing something. He struck out Galarraga though, and I got him, got us out of the yes, got us out of the inning. We're going to the bottom of the eighth with Dave Magadin up against who is that? Marcus Moore. I've never even heard of Marcus Moore. Marcus Moore. But that's, that you never heard of. And that's one down. And Benito, Uncle Benito Santiago is up. He's two for three with a double today, and he strikes out. And that brings up Kurt Abbott. Kurt Abbott with two down here in the bottom of the eighth. And the yes, and Kurt Abbott just went deep. He just went out of the park. Did he? Yes, Kurt Abbott with a home run and extends our lead to fourteen to ten with Barbary up. Kurt Abbott hit a home run. That's yeah, amazing. that is really kind of amazing. God, it's fourteen to ten marbles. And that is uh, Barbary is aboard and Matthews is up and we are going to definitely pinch hit for him because there's no way he's going back out there. Did you say Barbary? Who is it? Um. Huh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Brett Bar no Brett Barbary. Oh, Brett Barbary. So Brett Barbary, but Terry Matthews is up with Barbary aboard, and we are going to pinch hit. Um today. We're gonna you know what? Here's a good a good buddy of yours from the past, Greg Colbrin. We're going oh, to pinch yes. hit Greg Colbrin. I like that I know you loved him. So <laughs> and he is going to fly out to Howard Johnson, maybe. No, he got a base hit. He worked the base hit right and fell in front of Johnson. And now Chucky Carr's up with two down. Got to believe that may be the end of the inning. And he is going to ground out to Weiss. And now we have to go get another pitcher with a 14 to 10 lead. You think is this closer territory? All right, Doof called it. Feels like it, the last couple 
<laughs> Doof called it, and so we are going to go to Brian Harvey. Yes, that guy will get it done. Brian that Harvey. guy is going to get it done. And so he's dealing right now to Dante Bichette in the top of the ninth. Marlins up 14-10. That's a ground ball to Brown. Hard throw, and he's out. And so you've got Kingery up, one down, nobody on. And Kingery just went shopping at the Gap, it looks like, with a triple. He gets a triple. Yeah, Charlie Hayes is up. He's 0 for 3. Very uh, depressing day for him. And he flies out to Sheffield. Let's see if they score him. The runner holds. And so you've got Liriano up, two down. And he is going to walk. He walks. And there's runners at the corners for Joe Girardi. And they're going to pinch hit Vinny Castilla for Joe Girardi. What's he been doing on the bench? I don't know what he's been doing on the bench. And Castilla is going to lift a home run and make it 14-13. This is the craziest game you've ever seen. And it says Harvey is tired. Yeah, I, yeah, he's tired of uh, watching these Rockies jack on him. And now they're going to send another pinch hitter up, another friend of yours from the past, Ellis Burks. Oh, no way. Yes. Ellis Burks. It looks like he's going to fly to Sheffield, and that could be it, folks. And it is. So, 14 <laughs> 13 nail biter. Uh, Freeman goes four and two thirds and allows six or five earned runs and six runs overall for the Rockies. And Weathers, for us, goes seven innings, allows four earned runs. Matthews went one and allowed six. And Harvey came on, and he went one and allowed three. Yeah, they were trying to give it away. Yes, but that 